So our final question, and it revolves around housing. Housing is a concern for everyone in Burlington, specifically affordability. What is your party proposing in order to mitigate the continued pressures? So there's two aspects of housing when we talk about affordability. And, and so there are people who don't have housing. Even, even uh, Burlington isn't immune to homelessness. Uh, it may be different here than it is in Toronto, but it's certainly not something we're immune to. So we brought in the National Housing Strategy uh, to, pr to try and um, support, well it's the first time they had federal governments had a national housing strategy supported by $55 billion. So 25% of that is going to the most vulnerable, women fleeing abuse, people living with disabilities. Um, I'm really proud to have Habitat for Humanity Halt in Mississauga in, in Oakville, North Burlington, who are doing incredible work in trying to give people that hand up that they need to, to get into housing. So that's one aspect. Um, then there's also the fact that you have young people in our community that are not able to afford to buy a home. And they want to stay in Burlington, they want to you know, be close to family, their community, and it's, it's too expensive. So we are increasing in our area the first time home buyer's credit to $800,000, recognizing that home prices in our community are higher than in other parts of the country. We'll also be bringing in a speculation tax on non-Canadian non-residents who own housing. Um, the other part of getting young people into homes though and affordability is also making sure that they have stable, predictable employment, that they're not being saddled with debt when they're uh, starting a family. So we're, we're also um, looking at increasing supports for students as well as um, giving them a break on repaying their Canada student loans when they start a family until their child is five. So I think there's two aspects to that. One is stable employment and the other with jobs where they can afford to buy a house, but another is trying to, to just make sure that we control the uh, prices. Thank you. You're welcome. Again, we really appreciate you sitting down with ECOG today, and we wish you all the best. Thanks a lot. Thank you. So our last and final question has to do with right. housing. Okay. Housing is a concern for everyone in Burlington, specifically affordability. What is your party proposing <clears throat> in order to mitigate the continued pressures? Well, honestly, it would take half an hour to answer this question. I'll try to make it quick. Housing should be a provincial or municipal issue, not federal. The federal government will continue with the programs that work, but again, we believe the provinces and the municipalities are better suited to solve this problem. What I saw firsthand, I worked for a municipality and I worked for engineering consulting firms that submitted drawings to these cities. Right now, it costs $100,000 in the GTA for development charges. This is crazy. We have to pull back on the government's uh, requirements within reason. The development charges shouldn't be more than 10,000. So right off the bat, that causes incredible pressure on homes. It's too expensive. The other biggest issue is immigration. Right now, I think we're, have, we're letting in 300 to 400,000 immigrants. What we're asking for is 150,000 economic immigrants. Right now, 40% of the immigrants move to the big cities, Vancouver and Montreal, and Toronto, of course, sorry. We'll f try to find a way to convince, to give the incentives to the immigrants to move across Canada. I think Kingston and, and Niagara Falls and where I grew up in Halifax are fantastic places for immigrants to go, especially the economic immigrants that are going for jobs. So a lower number of immigrants overall will reduce the pressure on homes. But again, it's a provincial issue. Thank you. Thank you. And again, we really appreciate you sitting down with ECOG today and we wish you all the best. Oh, I really appreciate it, Jennifer. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Housing. Housing is a concern for everyone in Burlington, specifically affordability. What is your party proposing in order to mitigate the continued pressures? Well, this, this is, I've been hearing a lot about this from, uh, from the people that I've talked to. They say that, uh, that life is becoming uh, really unaffordable. Um, so Elizabeth May talked about what she would like to do is, uh, is investigate how can we tax, so for example, uh, Airbnb. So air, people are uh, uh, buying homes or buying properties and they are renting them out on Airbnb. It makes them a lot of money, but it means that this property is, is vacant for most of the time. So that is something that we would like to see change. Uh, we would also like to look at uh, 
wealthier companies and individuals that are, uh, that are buying properties and driving up the prices of housing and, uh, and see if we, there's some way that we can kind of, uh, kind of take, take back some of those properties that are being used for speculation. Uh, finally, uh, another big part of the Green Party platform is we would like to uh, invest money in retrofitting homes and buildings to make them more efficient and uh, that's going to create a whole lot of jobs and it's going to uh, really help out with our, with our energy needs because really conservation of energy is the cheapest way to make sure that we meet our energy needs. Thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. Thank you and we wish you all the best and thank you again for spending some time with us with ECOB. Thank you. So our final question, the fifth one in this series, housing. Housing is a concern for everyone in Burlington, specifically affordability. What is your party proposing in order to mitigate the continued pressures? Uh, we at the New Democrats uh, have a great plan uh, in place for those who are unable to find housing. Um, a lot of the issues that we see right now is the lack of housing. Um, there just doesn't seem to be enough houses out there. And I mean, we have people in, in Quebec that are just living in tents or uh, campers because that's really the only um, place they can stay. And it's not really because they don't want to live in a house, it's because there aren't any houses for them. So uh, we're, prepared, we're prepared to create a plan that has 500,000 new houses and um, that's going to uh, boost the economy with house, house building is always a great way to stir up the economy. Um, and it's going to offer people houses that are affordable uh, and it's going to offer a lot of Canadians places to live. Wonderful. Thank you, Nick. It was a pleasure. Thank you for spending you. some time with engaged citizens of Burlington and we wish you all the best. Great. Thank you. Thank you.